Hey everyone, it's me, X Kinadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dark related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the new Series 5 Kim Nguyen doll from Rainbow High. I am so excited about her. I ordered two, so tomorrow you'll get to see who the other one was. And so let's take a look at her packaging. So on the back of her box, we have Aiden. And it says, Rainbow High doesn't follow trends, we make them. Watch out, Shadow High. In the world of fashion, we always make the cut. And then over here, it tells us that she is a design focus. And this is the UPC number and the batch code for anybody who needs that. And we also have this little QR code, which I believe is to scan to take like a survey thing, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let's get her out of the box. I'm so excited. The new packaging design is such a breath of fresh air. Like it's so much easier, except getting the accessories out is such a pain. And I wanted to keep the box art intact too. So it makes it even more difficult because I can't just rip it out. Um, but other than that pretty easy but you see how much time is dedicated to this kim has arrived representing the color blue and this is what she looks like i am so excited about this doll she's so pretty so her name is kim nguyen that's how you pronounce her last name and let's begin our review so as always i want to start with her face which oh my gosh i love this new makeup style they're doing check it out so beautiful and i love the faded blue eyebrows too this is just a really really pretty screening and she has the really really light blue eyes I believe these are a shadow high color unless i'm mistaken and then she has a really nice peach tone to her lips as well i think everything matches super well i think this is a very very pretty screening i mean look at her face beautiful just put the doll in half profile um, unfortunately, the hair is more gelled than usual and much sloppier than usual, too. So, unfortunately, it looks super messy, but stay tuned. We will fix that part, um, in another video. And her bangs are kind of like micro bangs, so you can still see her eyebrows. And they're gelled down pretty well, which I'm very happy with, because I got my doll on Amazon, so. And then her hair is in a middle part, and this is always deceiving, and it makes the dolls look worse, um, when they put a lot of gel in, because it makes it look like they have huge bald spots when they just don't. She actually has a nice full head of hair. It's just uh, the gel is like pulling it in weird directions. I don't know why they do this. I understand using hair gel to keep the hair like in place and packaging, but this just doesn't serve much of a purpose, but it's fine. It washes out. It's no big deal. And then she has these really pretty earrings. They have these little resin back gems, which are super nice. And then an R, but these are actually one piece. So they put the like resin the see-through resin into the same mold as this to make it one piece. it's really nice um i would have expected the gem to just be glued on so that looks really good and yeah so the earrings are both ours unless mine are messed up maybe that's a possibility i don't know and then when you first get your doll she is wearing her coat like over her shoulders and it's tied into place so we just have to cut these two ties to free the jacket and take a look at it oh that's right, just like on Heather. So similar to Heather Grayson from Shadow High Series 1, her jacket has these little straps so that she can wear it over her shoulders, but it also functions as a jacket, which is really nice. And I wasn't expecting this to have this really nice pleather material as well as the denim. I do worry about this peeling over time. I always say that with pleather materials. I don't think that this would, but don't try to put this on a doll that is um, like larger than this because if they stretch, it'll peel a lot faster. And then we've got faux zipper tracks and zipper pulls as usual, which I love. And yeah, this is a really unique and cool piece. And this belt also fully can come off so that you can switch it out or just not have it. And it does function as a real working buckle as well. So if you want um, the, the jacket to be like closed, you can do that. And I just love the attention to detail here. They even have the little faux pockets where you wouldn't even be able to see them really. It's really impressive. And look at the little button too. Oh my gosh really nice the color is really fantastic too beautiful piece and then um yeah so this is these dolls don't come with two outfits anymore which i'm not i'm obviously i miss the second outfits but i'm not too hung up about it especially because there is rumored to be some fashion packs coming soon but i will say this outfit in particular is pretty lackluster compared to what we were seeing in Shadow High Series 2, but it's likely just that this happens to be the design for this character, you know, you're kind of meant to leave the jacket on. So I'm going to try the jacket on the other way where it's not just um, over the shoulders, because I like the over the shoulder look, but not for my display necessarily. I super, super like this dress though. It's very, very pretty. I just wish she had like a necklace or something. I think that would make this really nice, like a choker. Super, super, super nice piece though. Check this out. I love the, like, I think that's the back. Yeah, so that's the back of that same fabric. 
So that's what that looks like on the back. And that just looks so nice. And we've got all this really nice decorative stitching in that um, brown or like orange color. Oh my gosh, look. Just like you would see on the back of jeans. God, this is a cool piece. <gasps> it even has working pockets. Look. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is one of my favorite rainbow high fashion pieces ever, I think. This is spectacular. I love all the little studs placed down it too. And even over here, this is beautiful. And then she has painted nails as well. They're super long. I think um, on one side, mine are pretty messed up, placed a little low, but that looks kind of cool. It looks like she was like trying to do like blue tips or something, but I think this is the intended look. And she does have the super long nails and both sides are painted, which is pretty nice. Now, what is in her wrist? That's like, okay, I don't know what that is. I'll get it out later. <laughs> Weird. She also has her shoes, which they remind me of the brand that one of the other characters whose name I'm blanking on right now, Michelle. Uh, Michelle has a logo very similar to this on her dress, um, but they say R and H and they have big chunky heels and then the bottoms are black. And they're very simple, but I really like them and I think they look really good with this outfit. And that's it for outfit pieces, which is a lot less than usual. I'm totally, again, like I said, I'm totally fine with them switching to one outfit if they have to. And I really appreciate that they simplified the packaging so that they could put more budget towards the dolls because, you know, they were very, very, very affordable dolls and it seems like they needed to, like, deal with the overall profit margin. And as a consumer, that kind of sucks for me. But I appreciate that in order to kind of alleviate the feeling of that on the consumer of like, well, now I'm getting way less than I used to get for the same price or more sometimes. Um, they've also included all of these little accessories, which I really appreciate. I super like Rainbow High Dolls. The second outfits were always really fun. I will miss them a lot, but I'm not too hung up on it, about it. But I understand completely if you are, because it, I mean, I can completely understand why that's a deal breaker on a fashion doll like this. And in this particular case, I can really feel how much it's hurting that the second outfit is gone because she really, really needed more pieces to work with because, I mean, this is it. Um, but we will, we will be putting this on for the next clip, but let's take a look at her accessories. So she comes with a sewing machine, which is super cool. And I wasn't expecting this, but this is actually a functioning piece. Look, the little sewing needle comes up and down and the, um, kind of forgot, the feed knob or something, um, actually moves. That is so cute. Love a good doll sewing machine. I have a weird amount of doll sewing machines now. <laughs> and then we have her hangers. Um, especially in this case, the hangers make very little sense, but I mean, if you don't want her to wear her jacket, there you go. It's also that they're making up for lost time because we had several series with no hangers. So now we'll have extra hangers to work with. So <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's truly why they're including the hangers again. One, because people were complaining about it, but I feel like nobody would have been complaining in this case because there's not a second outfit, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I was very, very much missing the hangers when they left. And then we have her makeup brushes, which are basically the same as the other makeup brushes, but I like that they have this semi-transparent handle and black bristles on them. And you get three of them. And then her makeup palette also is semi-transparent in the same style. It's like kind of more purple than blue, I feel like. Maybe it's like a dark indigo type color. And then you can see that the mirror is actually really nice. Like it functions really well. And then it's got the little Versace Medusa head and some colors for her to do her makeup with. It actually matches what she's wearing, which is pretty cute. And then she has a comb. I really like the um, her theme color. I would think it's denim blue, but it seems to be like a royal blue almost. And then she also has a phone, which comes with a separate case. So the phone can be removed from the case and put in. Simple back of the phone. And this is from tape that was holding it in place, just so you know, you just have to wipe that off. And you can see Kim Nguyen, fashion designer, and Priscilla Perez has commented, looking fabulous, hashtag fashion, hashtag RH. Okay. And it has like 2,000 likes. Really cute. And then her phone case is also like a transparent indigo and it's got that R that's on her earrings. And then you can put her phone in there because I love the phone cases. I love that you don't have to have the case if you don't want like this thing showing, but if you don't mind that, the phones can be stuck 
to the thumb so that she can actually be holding her phone in a super non-obtrusive way so that she can actually play with her phone. I really like this. When I was a kid, it really bothered me that my Barbies, I couldn't play with their accessories. And a lot of Barbies now will have little handles. And sometimes there were handles on accessories when I was a kid too. Obviously, we weren't worried about cell phones when I was a kid. But, you know, like if my doll had a fork, there was no way she was going to be able to hold the fork. It was just kind of something I could put on the table. So I really like that they think ahead of things like this because that's important. It's really good for play and kids shouldn't have to like be fumbling with rubber bands in order to play with it. And it's also fantastic for display. Super, super like it. I'm never going to stop praising that. All right, let me put the coat on her and I'll give you my final thoughts. And here is Kim wearing her little coat. I really think she needs to be wearing the coat in some capacity um, to make this outfit work because otherwise it's just really simple and makes it look like there's something missing. This is super, super cute. And I'm really happy with her. I've been really enjoying the Rainbow High dolls that have come out so far. So Shadow High Series 2 and now Rainbow High Series 5. They're phenomenal. What's going on here is very interesting because it seems like the designs are like peaking. These are some of the most incredible, beautiful base dolls. And like, I love the new colors that they're doing. There's so many like really fantastic colors and different themings that they're doing that are so much fun. Like, I know we've had dolls wearing denim before, but this is like really elevated from what we saw with any Skylar dolls. So I really appreciate that. And I love the hair color scheme that she's got going on. The makeup is just superb. And the way that they come with all these extra accessories, like the phones and stuff is just so much fun and it's going to make these a lot more fun for kids too which is really exciting and i really hope we see more play sets as well since it seems like they're um, going hard on accessory design i want to see what else they would do with play sets because mga has always done the most phenomenal play sets but i feel like with modern brands other than lol they don't really mess with play sets too much like with rainbow high in the grand scheme thinking about it we haven't really had that many play sets and i super like play sets especially now that i'm older and have space to display them i want to see more play sets um but we've we've sacrificed some things to get here, right? So it does seem like the doll market in general is favoring, like, lower prices. They need to have a higher profit margin and a lower price. So I really appreciate that for the consumer, the dolls now cost $25 again. So they're back to their original retail value. But we did lose some things to get here, right? We did lose the second outfits. But honestly, if the base doll is going to be this high quality, for me personally, and this is just me... Uh, I don't mind because the base doll is the most important part to me and I am very excited to see where we're going with the fashion packs and it's kind of a double-edged sword here because I don't I'm I'm sad that we lost the second outfits I had so much fun with them I really enjoyed using them for restyles and um, it was one of the things that really really set Rainbow High apart but if they truly can't keep up with it and keep the profit margins high enough to keep the doll brand going then I'm fine with losing them because ultimately as the consumer as well I just love these dolls so much and I really want to see them last for as long as possible we are going into i mean rainbow high has been around for a long time and it's continued to elevate every time the designs have continued to elevate and i haven't opened more than one series five doll yet so i can't really say much on how i think this compares to four and below but i will say that i think the designs like the they're just really, really solid here. I do think overall that Shadow High Series 2 is better, but I won't know that until I have them all in my hands and can, like, compare them directly like that. Um, but I think Shadow High Series 2 seems to have experimented more, which is generally what's going on is Shadow High gets more, like, room to experiment, whereas Rainbow High is their more safe option, which totally makes sense. But they still do experiment a lot with Rainbow High. And, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. And... Please don't take me saying that I'm okay with losing the second outfits as me saying that you need to also feel the same. If that's a deal breaker for you, then that should be a deal breaker for you and that it's important uh, that you express your own opinions on that sort of thing, you know? Um, it's just for me, I just really, really like Rainbow High and yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited to see what comes next. Also, I thought we were over the hair gel thing in like series three and it keeps coming back. Please, if you're going to include hair gel, please don't make it be like this. This is a nightmare. Look at this. It's so bad. Uh, but I can wash it out. It's no big deal. You just have to soak them in warm water. Yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'd love to know what you guys think of this doll. I think this is my new favorite blue doll. I mean, it's close because I super... Tessa's not a blue doll. She's a purple doll. Don't listen, darling. Um, it's definitely between her and Coco for the best blue doll for me. But I don't know. I just really like this one. Although, this one doesn't really feel like a blue doll to me. She's... 
because jeans you don't really they are blue obviously they're blue jeans but you don't really consider them blue you consider them denim they're their own thing you know they match with everything else which is why honestly like i would have loved I, this will match with a lot of things it'll be really cool but it would have been cool if she came with some like really interesting jeans like some cool bell bottoms or something because um mga has always done really cool denim work actually i mean obviously i don't know if this is real denim or not like it's like a thin doll version of denim but like with the brats dolls there were so many cool pairs of jeans and little jean skirts and jean shorts and jean jackets and all sorts of little things like that and this really feels like that um but it would have been cool imagine the second outfit on this doll i'm just dreaming um but in shadow high series two there was only one doll that i really felt like oh she really needed a second outfit to make this like work and this is likely going to be that doll for rainbow high series five but hopefully the fashion packs come out soon so that it won't really bug me um but that's it thank you guys so, so much for watching and let me know who your favorite from series five is preliminarily i'd be curious to see how your answers change by the end of it i think my favorite is olivia duh she's forest green um but it was between kim and olivia for me for sure but I mean, all the dolls are so solid, like Michelle and Priscilla and what is your name? I'm blanking on her name, but that's Brett's favorite. The other one, um, Victoria, is that her name? The blonde one? I don't know, um, but she's really cool too, uh, and I'm excited. So stay tuned for tomorrow to see the next video. You can probably guess who it is, <laughs> uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.